Hi, my name's Donya. I'm 31 years old and I'm a Royal Navy medic. I live with my husband and my daughter who's 16 months old. And unfortunately, my CSF leak journey started when I was 17 weeks pregnant with her. It happened spontaneously and I spent many weeks in bed trying to convince doctors that it wasn't just a pregnancy migraine. Finally, a doctor took me seriously in my local hospital and arranged for me to have scans and a lumbar puncture and they came up with a diagnosis of a CSF leak, despite no problems being shown in my MRI scans. They identified this from my pressure being so low in my lumbar puncture results. They decided to give me my first blood patch, which I found that worked really well, but unfortunately I leaked again. Subsequently, I leaked a further six times and had to have a further six blood patches, all working really well, but unfortunately not lasting. Finally, my local hospital decided they'd exacerbated all options and wanted to refer me on to the specialists at the National Hospital for Neurology and Neurosurgery. I met with a very good doctor there and they said next time that I do get my symptoms that I should return for ICP monitoring, which is intracranial pressure monitoring. Unfortunately, I did end up leaking again, but they admitted me straight away. I went for repeat MRI scans and CT scans, to which none showed any evidence of a leak. However, I did go ahead with the ICP monitoring, which was in situ for four days, and from there they were able to establish that I was sitting at a lower pressure. As they've noticed that I had quite a lot of blood patches over a short space of time, they weren't so keen to give me another one as they wanted to try different options one of them being caffeine infusions. I was really skeptical about having a caffeine infusion as I thought if I was actively leaking, then surely it would just continue leaking out. With the caffeine infusion, the idea was that it would help increase my CSF levels because caffeine helps the body naturally produce more CSF. By this time, I was like, why not? Let's just try it. I've not tried it before. So I went ahead three caffeine infusions over a space of six week intervals. I couldn't believe it, but they actually did work. I've been able to return to work, albeit a gradual return to work, and I've actually no longer needed any blood patching. My main symptoms at the moment is fatigue. I do get very fatigued after a complete in the morning at work, or if I've exacerbated myself slightly by going for a walk. The pain is unbearable when you stand up. The only thing that seems to make it better for me was lying down. It got to points where I couldn't even bear the light or any loud noises, so I spent a lot of my time laying flat in bed in a dark room. This subsequently had knock-on effects and caused a lot of stress within my family network, as a lot of people had to actually care for me, including occasionally having to give me bed baths and assist me with going to the toilet as I was unable to stand up. It also had an effect on my relationship with my daughter when she was first born because I unfortunately wasn't able to have the close caring relationship I wanted to have with her due to my inability to stand up. Also, once having the blood patches, you have to rest a lot. So it meant that I was unable to pick up, bend or twist or do anything strenuous, including picking up my daughter. I found this really difficult as it's very frustrating because you feel well after a blood patch but you really need to be careful and protect that scab to make sure that it heals properly and blocks the hole. Thankfully my journey has only been a couple of years but I know that some people do suffer a lot longer and haven't had the success rate that I have. I appreciate that I'm still only at the beginning, I'm not out of the woods yet but this is the longest I've gone not actively leaking it so to say and not experiencing the symptoms so for me it's so far so good. I've now been able to spend a lot more time with my daughter and do the things that I wanted to do with her. My work has been very compassionate by allowing me the time off to recoup, rest and recuperate and also allowing me to go on a gradual return to work which means that I've been able to get the rest that I've needed. I just wish that it could be the same for everybody else. I couldn't have remained as positive as I have done and also have the knowledge that I've got without the CSF Leaks Association. They provide so much information and support that I don't know why, where I'd be without it. It definitely affects your mental health as there are days and weeks where you're just laying there unable to do anything 
and of course a lot of things do go through your mind but thankfully knowing that there's other sufferers out there that I can talk to just helps knowing that you're not alone despite not being able to maybe see somebody face to face. It's great to know that there's more people out there to help you get through this. What I would love is for the diagnosis and the treatment to be the same for everyone. That would be ideal. But knowing that we've got each other for now to help us through the difficult times where we may not be able to get the answers we're looking for or people don't take us seriously, at least we know there are other people out there that completely understand where we're coming from. Thank you.